When I first met Kamala, she told me that earning an income earns respect. And I think that is part of the message of this book, which is that these women were left alone at an impossible time and had people who were counting on them, families who needed them to provide. And so all of the politics of the time really didn't matter. What, they, what mattered was that they had families who needed them to provide. And so I think the fact that business was the key and business is what allowed them to support their community shows the power of entrepreneurship, shows the power of business, and becomes political because I think what you see is the power of uh, women earning income to change people's lives regardless of what's going on around them. The book really is about economics as much as it is about the politics. And I think these girls in the dressmaker of Karkana, they started a business at a really impossible time for women. Women couldn't even be on the street during those years. And I think their story really embodies the power of women to create change at even you know, really difficult times when every opportunity, it seems, has been sealed off. These young women unearthed opportunity and they sort of ignored the politics of the time. And I think the fact that they were able to succeed and to make a real difference between survival and starvation for so many families in their neighborhood during years when they weren't even supposed to be on the street is a testament to the power of women to work around all the obstacles. And I think that is in itself as a political statement.